my two-week ban has been lifted and I'm able to upload videos once again. That being said, this was a bit of a wake-up call, so I'd ask if you're watching this, subscribe to my backup channel, The Satiritician Rants. I'll link it down below. I will be uploading content to it, but maybe not as regularly as my main channel. But it's more just going to be me moaning about stuff, so that's always fun. But with this video, I really wanted to lay my cards on the table, explain why I started making videos, and I think it's something in what many people now refer to as the skeptic community has lost sight of. I won't be naming any names or throwing any mud, but there is a group of people that have lost sight of why they started and have become wrapped up in their own celebrity. I do not want to become one of those people. I'm sure by now many of you are familiar with the minor tiff with a fellow YouTuber which was blown out of all proportion. And from the heart, I would like to thank those subscribers that stuck with me and the other content creators which made videos in support of me and are sticking around to see what's next for the satiritician. And I'd like to take you through a few examples of why I think what I and other people who do what I do on YouTube is important. The BBC News Channel ran a headline about what it claimed was the gender pay gap. Now to anyone who follows an anti-SJW channel, the wage gap is something that has been debunked so many times that whenever it's mentioned, it's greeted with groans and face palms. However, the BBC run the story as if this is news and as if it was true, which is absolutely absurd for one of the world's most respected media outlets. That screen capture was taken about two weeks ago, so it's recent enough to evoke a deep well of despair to anyone unlucky enough to have seen it and in the know enough to know that it's false. Posters like this on university campuses. Jack was drunk, Josie was drunk, they hooked up and Jack was jailed for rape. Equality, ladies and gentlemen. Completely skipping over the fact that Jack couldn't give his consent either as he was also drunk. Oh, but he had the penis, therefore he's the villain of the piece. This example is from the UK, but the law is so backwards that only men can be guilty of rape. It's only rape if it's male genitalia involved. If a woman were to forcibly insert an object up inside you, that's not rape. That's sexual assault at best, which is a much lesser charge. So picture this scenario. You're at a bar and some vindictive girl slips a roofie into your drink and then forces a Viagra tablet down your passed out throat and has the time of her life with your not so limp body. She gets pregnant from that. It wasn't rape. Who do you think's gonna be stuck paying child support payments? Now, while I'll agree this scenario might be unlikely, it could happen and frankly, the laws need to change. We are in an age of equality and women need to be held just as accountable as men under the law. Many people here will know Nottingham as the place where Robin Hood lived, but here it's known as passing a law which makes misogyny a hate crime, a very vague and disturbing law. What passes for misogyny, and whose word gets taken over who? Note it's not harassment of another person, and there's no hate crime against misandry. But misogyny is listed as a hate crime. And this was heralded as a great victory by feminists for equality. For the sake of my sanity, please tell me I'm not the only one who sees a problem with this. All the information they needed to implement this law was hearsay about incidents of women reporting what had apparently happened to them. Now, I'm not saying that every woman that reported misogyny was a liar, but generally we require proof beyond a reasonable doubt before we take this kind of step. And I'm not seeing that here. And if a woman is feeling vindictive enough and has a group of her girlfriends with them, so all they'd need to do is claim they saw someone wolf whistling at a girl and that man could be arrested for the accusation, it's a slippery slope. It seems to me it's getting more and more dangerous to just go for a night out on the town. You see, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a journalist, I'm an asshole with a sense of humour. And while I might not have the mind of Thunderfoot or the investigative skills of somebody like Vernaculus, I still think it's important to draw attention to and mock the stupidity that I come across. So, that's what I do, and that's why this channel is, and always has been listed under entertainment. I think what I, and channels like mine do, is important. And the very, very few examples I've listed hopefully convey exactly why I think it's important. People have lost their jobs and had their careers ruined for doing what I choose to do on YouTube, but I'm willing to take the risk because I feel our society today is broken. And if I'm able to draw attention to that by what means I'm capable of, then all to the good. But as I said before, I feel there are some people who started out with the best of intentions and have lost sight of what they wanted to achieve and now take their fan base for granted. 
There is work that needs to be done and creating clickbait drama amongst our own community isn't going to help anybody except the regressives that we oppose. While I think it's healthy to keep our own community in check to ensure we don't form an echo chamber or generally start embarrassing ourselves, there needs to be a counterbalance where we don't go completely off the rails when one creator makes a silly mistake. I mean, both sides can easily say plenty about this community that we've thrown together and some people even refuse to associate themselves with it. And lastly, yeah, I lost some subscribers in the recent drama and I'll say if you're willing to jump ship over something that petty, then frankly, we don't need you here. You see, I like the amount of subscribers that I have. And I like them on a personal level. When I fuck up, they have no complaints about calling me out on it. And I like that. It's reassuring to me that the people that do watch my videos have minds of their own. Well, that's all I have to say on the matter. But look forward to more content because I'm back. And as always, thank you for your time.